Hi guys. So I wanted to share my upcoming secret of the golden flower retreat with you in more detail because I've gotten lots of inquiries and questions. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And this is from my website. So if you go to my website and you click on the first, there's, I always have my little slider, which I actually want to update because I think a lot of things get hidden in that slider. But if you it should be the first or second of the slides and you can click on my retreat page and here it is. So this is the secret of the golden flower. Oops. Let me just scroll up. Oh, it's not letting me wait. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. So yes. So you start on my webpage here. And these are some other things and you click on this, learn more. And here we have Secret of the Golden Flower, November 1st to the 9th, Delhi, Agra, Jaipur and Udaipur. And this is a retreat designed and carefully curated via Roma Sitara Travel, a rock star travel agent. And she will treat you like a rock star with all of the VIP services, allowing you just to delve into the mysteries and teachings of Mother India without a care in the world. This was my vision and my absolute commitment to make sure this retreat is seamless and you have no worries. You come and you just enjoy and get the most beautiful, profound experience of your life. So here we're going to go into the full itinerary. There's a little video, which is beautiful, which you can watch, but I want to just kind of guide you through the, and the video is great. Actually, I'll just give you a little, a little something, something, because my friend, oops, my friend um, who is working for Italian Vogue made this video, which is, he did a great job, but you have to see it. It's going to be too small on here. So you'll have to watch it on my website. It's beautiful. It's also my Instagram, but here's the itinerary. So here's what I wanted to share and kind of go over with you. Now, sadly, I had to recently delete one photo from this because it had, I had gotten it off it's of a train and it was a picture of a train of all things. And I got harassed for using this photo, which I got on, you know, Google search, didn't know it was some kind of copyright thing, but anyway, so that's, We'll get, the, we'll talk about that when I get to it. But anyway, I have these three lovely um, classic Turner classic um, vintage glamour queens here, you know, original stewardess flight attendants for Air India to give you the vibe of how my vision for this retreat is that it will feel like old Hollywood, Bollywood glamour, which is what I love about India. It has that old world charm and glamour to it classic secret of the golden flower a Jungian mystical immersion into the timeless beauty of mother india through the lens of the nine planetary archetypes because it's going to be nine days ending on my birthday starting on diwali my favorite quote who is one of my favorite writers who definitely inspired a lot of the nuances of this retreat the subtle tones of this retreat and the teachings Tagore, you can't stand, sorry, you can't cross the sea by merely standing and staring at the water. Many people say they want to come to India, but fear, fear it, fear the unknown, fear getting sick. I know I even had people before I went to India the first time telling me all the horror, um, the horror in their mind, the fears, you know, that were absolutely untrue. And I'm so glad I didn't listen to them because it changed my life. And as many of you know, it's one of my favorite places on earth that I return to again and again, over and over again. So here we have the itinerary. So um, on the 31st, you're going to fly to New Delhi and arrive in Delhi for day one because we're going to start in the morning. So after you clear immigration and customs formalities, you'll be greeted by our airport rep. We'll accompany you in the coach to the Imperial Hotel. Excellent hotel. Very cool hotel. I always wanted to stay at this hotel. 
also one of these iconic award-winning hotels from the 1930s or even this one might some of them go back to the 1700s i think this one is the 30s um and then you'll have the traditional welcome upon arrival but you'll have the afternoon to rest relax enjoy the hotel and spa and get over your jet lag but then come evening we're going to get all dressed up in indian attire which will be provided to you as a gift saris for the ladies and we do have a couple gentlemen coming on this trip so far and they will also get their traditional garb um opening ceremony puja and diwali festivals and the dinner is happening at the imperial hotel that night and we will stay overnight there this gives you some of the beauty of the imperial hotel the pool the spa which is awesome yoga outside and it's an iconic landmark of New Delhi, built on eight acres of land and opened in 1936 as the first hotel in New Delhi, one of the grand doms of the East. Its architecture has been, has uh, subtle traces of Victorian art. Anyway, you can read all about it. I may do like a webinar to like really bring people in and go through this in more detail and to also answer your questions in person. But I wanted to give you just this preview for people who might just find this on YouTube. And if I don't know you, I am definitely um, making sure that I, I'm i putting together a very special group. So I won't take anyone that I don't know well. So I, if you are interested, I will take time to get to know you before um, we embark on this retreat together. Many of you, I'm sure, coming know me and I know you. But if you're finding this on the internet, then we will have to have a few meetings to discuss. <laughs> um, and okay, so we have all the details here about the hotel. Then we've got the details about Diwali, which is a very important Hindu festival of lights. And when the whole city is lit up, it's a spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, knowledge over ignorance. Families celebrate by performing Lakshmi Puja ceremonies in their homes where they pray to Goddess Lakshmi, goddess of abundance and wealth and share sweets with their families a little bit like christmas then saturday second day we have the planetary archetype of shani time is god and here we've got a guided tour of new delhi and the luton's deli driving tour old delhi canary bazaar spice market um we will not be walking though we will just be driving because everybody will be very tired from a long journey but you will get to see it by car <laughs> and if anybody has a particular interest in it we can arrange for you to have a walking tour so that morning we'll have our meditation and workshop we'll have breakfast at the imperial hotel after we'll have a beautiful tali lunch at a unesco heritage hotel then a special workshop in the afternoon and you're free for uh, dinner on your own and then we'll have our overnight at the imperial hotel then we have some details about old delhi taj mahal of course jaipur you get all the details villa palladio which is where we will be landing in jaipur we'll be spending the heart of the retreat here because i fell in love with this property i've stayed there twice now it is just a dream it's a jewel box it's like nothing else in this world you feel like you are on the most mystical magical retreat in the hills but still with access to Jaipur it's just amazing it's wonderful the food is wonderful the people are wonderful the surroundings everything it's just every detail is just out of this world so Monday we have our moon energy grow glow go each day has a little theme. We have our workshops there. We're going to have textile shoppings. We'll go to the Shiva temple, which is just out of this world too. Very beautiful. Meditation and workshop. Breakfast at Villa Palladio. Lunch, farm to table lunch at the fabulous Co Cafe Coti, one of my favorites. And textile shopping at the nearby Neela house in Inoki. Visit to the nearby Shiva temple overnight, Villa Palladio. Then we have our hero heroine's journey on day five for mars the archetype of mars and we're going to visit um, the amber fort take an elephant ride up and we'll have um, lunch at the restaurant 11 35 ad and retreat workshops in the afternoon and then overnight villa palladio and there's more details there about the pink city 
day six magical mystery tour because it's Wednesday, it's Mercury's day. We'll have workshops at the Villa Palladio again. Then we're going to visit the Pink City and the City Palace. And we will um, also go to one of my favorite restaurants, the Joey for lunch. Really beautiful hotel also. And a visit to the City Palace, guided walk through the colorful bazaars, terrace in the private wing of the City Palace, high tea um, there, and then overnight in Villa Palladio. Rombog Palace also on our list of visitations. And then we have Dream On for Jupiter Day, and we will um, have lunch. That's when we'll be at the Rambag Palace, and then we'll be heading to Udaipur. Beautiful artistic designer boutiques at the palace, and um, arriving by arriving by boat to the unique and celebrated Lake Palace Hotel, very famous hotel, award winning, in the middle of Lake Pachola, Pachola. and will be overnight at the Taj Lake Palace. Then Udaipur, which was once the capital of the medieval kingdom of Mewar, the city of Sunrise. It's one of India's most beautiful locales, a patchwork of man-made lakes ringed by a circle of low hills and some stretches of lake shore dotted with palaces, pavilions, and elegant old mansions, known as Venice of the East. There's the beautiful Lake Palace Hotel, and there's some features at Budapur, and then we'll have our Fantasy Island Day for Rahu Day on Friday. This is the second Friday after we start on a Venus Day. We're already on our second Venus Day, and we'll have all this wonderful things to look forward to. Breakfast at the Taj Lake Palace, a boat, and walk up to the imposing city palace, which by the way has this amazing, um, oh wait, I'm thinking of the one in Jaipur Atelier, and there's a new shop there. That's the one in Jaipur. This one, I love the city palace. So this is where that photo is from. Oh my God, I went crazy the first time I went there. And I was there on a Venus day and it was just, oh, wow. Every room is spectacular. You'll be inspired for forever. It just goes on for days and days. Um, we'll have a little sunset cruise on the private motorboat on Lake Pachola to Jagmandir Island and overnight at Taj Lake Palace. And then we're going to have Old Town and the sunset cruise there. We have more details at Poor City Palace. And then... Saturday, day nine, the last day, letting go. Because we'll be in the day K2 energy, but we're going to visit my favorite Shiva temple. We'll have my big birthday dinner. There's pools, there's spas. Um, and you'll get all those Shiva blessings. This temple is, oh, it's just so mystical. And um, there's also a lunch option for Devi Gar, which is this amazing fortress hotel that I've also stayed at that I love, that I was on the fence of bringing into this retreat, but we opted for Uri Villas, which is just a dream hotel. We'll have our workshop and closing ceremony and a special dinner, big dinner at the Lakeside Pavilion at Uri Villas, Oberoi, Oberoi Hotel Uri Villas. And there's the temple we'll visit. There's the fortress. And there's the Uri Villas, beautiful. Stunning five-star award-winning. Oh, what a dreamy hotel that is. And then, of course, it's flying home. Fly back to Delhi to fly home, or unless you want to continue on, of course. And you've got two flights that we're booking there included in the in the fees um, for the itinerary. So it's just a choice depending on when you're going to book your flight or what you're doing next that you can choose from. And that takes us back to the beginning. So if you have any questions, here's more details about the workshops here on my website. And like I said, I probably will be doing some kind of webinar so that way I can really ask, I can really ask, I can really ask you what your questions are. And here we have some payment options. We only have two rooms left of the single occupancy as I'm making this video and only three rooms of the shared. So they are going fast um, and it is a small retreat. I'm keeping it very intimate. So um, if you are interested, definitely don't delay. And also because you've got to get your flights and your visa and we can help you with all of that. We, you will have always access to a doctor. Don't worry about being sick because we're staying in five-star hotels where you don't have to worry about the water. You don't have to worry about the food. You don't have to worry about getting sick because we're going to put you in a bubble basically to protect you. So anyway, things are so upgraded nowadays. It's not how, whatever you heard it was before. And anyway, like I said, we're staying in places where this is not an issue, but even so you always have access to a doctor 
Um, so there's nothing at all to be worried about. And we can give you all the remedies just to help you adjust to the new, of course, any new country, you have to adjust to the new biome. And I know all the tips and tricks for that to keep you, um, you know, functioning at full vibrancy and also keep your immune system boosted because it is travel. I always have great remedies for that, that I will share with you too. And um, we have payment plans and we have all-inclusive. Now you get a bonus when you do the all-inclusive, you get two sessions with me that you can do on either side of the retreat to prepare you for the deeper work that we're gonna be doing in the workshops. And, um, and you know, you get a great value too. So, um, and if you get the shared double, you also got a bonus workshop with me or rather not a workshop, it's like a workshop, <laughs> uh, a bonus session, dinner and a show with me. And um, yeah, so I am here to answer any and all of your questions. So let me know, um, you know, any potential um, inquiries about any of this, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. And it will be a trip for a lifetime to remember. It's going to be really special. And I would love to share it with you. Okay. Lots and lots of blessings from Mother India.